I think we need to be aware of just how difficult uh, the, the job of investigative journalists have become. Um, the super wealthy have developed an armory of uh, methods for coming after people who are starting to reveal um, private corrupt issues that they don't want um, brought to public attention. Um, and particularly the whole uh, law around uh, actually data protection, uh, copyright, um, and of course libel law um, are all being exploited and sadly abused uh, by um, law firms who, who have learnt how to reputation manage for their super wealthy clients uh, to make it very, very difficult indeed for journalists to, to do their jobs. We need, first of all, better awareness that this is a threat to journalism, that the abuse of defamation law and actually the abuse of other laws uh, have a, a concrete impact on investigative journalists around the world. Uh, this is really sort of an open secret that this happens. Everybody knows about this sort of pressure, but very few journalists, very few media outlets are actually talking about it openly. So sometimes it takes something quite extreme, um, like the assassination of Daphne Caruana Galizia in Malta to shed light on the fact that this is really happening and it is a press freedom issue. So I think more information on it, more awareness, more solidarity among journalists and among the freedom of expression community to support uh, the people taking on these risks um, it would be an excellent start. Really for anyone who cares about fighting corruption, we have to stand up for investigative journalists. As the 1MDB scandal shows, investigative journalists are often at the forefront of breaking some of the biggest corruption scandals of our time. And we're seeing more and more attacks on journalists from physical violence and threats um, to really aggressive legal action. Um, and we're here to stand up and say that we won't take it anymore.